guys, Chelsea here. Today I'm super excited to share a video with you that was actually recorded a couple of months ago. In this video you will get a peek into the planners that I have been using from the first sketchbook term planner to the beautiful ones that I found while, while traveling. So even though this video was actually filmed a couple of months ago, I hope that it will inspire you in your creative planning process. And so without further ado, let's go with the video. So, I actually wanted to show you how my planners have evolved. The very first attempt of planning and writing things down that I ever did was to just write it in a notebook. This was actually a present from a friend that I actually love a lot. And this was very helpful at the beginning because I was kind of using it to sketch and write things that I wanted to do. Like you can see it has a lot of markers. When I was having projects, or even when I was doing researches, I wrote it all here. And whether I like to have this, I still use this for like writing things down, like ideas, or if I have to do well, if I had to do rough sketches before I actually purchased my new sketchbooks, this was, this is all. Uh, I used to do them here. But then I realized that it was not really working for me to have everything in this notebook because things were just getting mixed up and I was losing track of the information, the things that I needed to do. So. The second planner that I got when I moved to Europe, it was kind of a first time thing. It was this gorgeous planner. It's very small, if you can see. Um, this is from the artist Maria Hesse. I got it from a, a bookstore actually in Spain. And it's just, it's just gorgeous. <laughs> Let's start by then. It was super insp inspiring for me to like see this gorgeous thing and it made me want to like work and write, like open it every day and you know, do the things. So as you can see, I started to try this. And then she has this little system. This was my actual first attempt to keep in a planner to keep it an actual written plan. I did, of course, I already knew that writing since that was working for me. And at the very first start, I was like not having that much things to like write down when it comes to like daily tasks and stuff like that. So this with its size, it was kind of, it was working for me. But of course there were even when I was doing stuff, I was like not really writing things down. This is why I tell you that discipline is something that you build and that you exercise. So I did manage to use pretty much almost of the planner, but I do feel kind of sad that there are a lot of blank spaces in here that they were not used, especially because it's just gorgeous. Anyway, this was actually working pretty fine for me and it was in a very initial stage of my journey building my career. Then the last year I actually got this one because it was a bit bigger and more comfortable size for me because I did not like that this one was like really small and sometimes it was like kind of uncomfortable to write things down there. So I got this one, which it was... I'm in love with this format, guys. It's bound back. It opens flat. We all love that. And oh boy, this one is actually a very well-loved planner. <laughs> I did use it a lot. I was also having more things to write down so the extracts 
the extra space actually came great for me. This is something that I made so that I can keep uh, an Instagram posting schedule. I was trying a method to see if it actually worked, but it kind of did. I mean, like the idea is good, but I haven't been able to actually stick to it. So maybe it needs to be better work. And so this, work for this. This is a fit planning. All visual keynotes, you will not understand unless you have my guide for this. But yeah, I did really, really use this planner a lot. As you can see, here I got, I mean, like this is a week view, which I actually prefer. And you can see that this week, I only have like three things that I did not do. And I mean, you look back to this and you actually feel pretty good that you are keeping almost everything done. There are weeks, of course, when I did manage to do everything. And there are weeks, of, of course, where I couldn't finish it all. Like, I don't know, here, for instance. But yeah, also, I did not stop using this planner for one single day. Like this one, I did actually use it fully. Which is also give you some sort of satisfaction because you can see that you are like, you know, building a habit and it helps you to keep the habit and to keep doing things. And then for this year, unfortunately, um, the other model, this model was already sold out when I tried to buy my planner. So I went for this one which is same size, yeah. same size, but spiral bound. I'm not a fan of this, but they were the ones that they were left. And I really, really, really wanted one of those because they helped me. They have been helping me and I like the build system that they have. Now, the sad part for that one was that they don't have a weekly view it's a daily view so it's hard for me to actually see my entire week and all the tasks that i need to do but at the same time it helps me focusing on the day that i am working on and it also gives me more space to I mean, like to add more stuff to do. Not necessarily because I want to add more stuff to do, you know, because sometimes I do have like a lot of things that I need to tackle. And they're like even little tasks, but I need to write them down. Like for instance, when I was making when I was working on the project that you saw in the last video, and I needed to make a lot of feedbacks. So if you can see this, this is a day of work, nothing too exhausting for me or anything. I totally do the, did this and did not end up like drain or anything because they were like very little tasks, tasks. But if you can see that if I would have to write these things into the space that this planner used to have, then I wouldn't be able to write it all down comfortably, maybe I would have to like, I don't know, like use extra space or like paste stuff. So in that matter, this actually came pretty handy for me for working on projects. I actually made some new additions to my planner using this year. I started to learn about kind of journaling. I do not do journals, like I'm not there yet, but I do like like keeping some kind of journaling within my own planner. I have been trying to like introduce more color and you know, decor. And since that spark some joy into my daily tasks so that they don't feel so cold and I don't know, office-like, I mean, I'm an artist and I, I'm inspired by art and if I also can bring that to my planner then that's great, that's a win-win for me. 
So one of the things that I actually started to do was to adding watchy tapes and sticky notes and stickers stuff like that and they they inspire me when I am working during the day on this matter then I try to give some sort of color harmony into each page like if I am decorating with a green washi tape then I use a green colored pencil or a green marker for doing the rest of the elements or a green sticky notes like this like trying to keep it harmonious as you can see I'm not <laughs> I am not a journal super aesthetic kind of thing you know because I'm learning about this but it's definitely a fun thing that it kind of helps boost the start of the day for me. One thing that I actually started to do last year, and it's of course an optional thing for you to do, maybe you don't like this thing, maybe you, you do, was to add these little inspirational quotes that I was either reading on internet or on a book and I just write them down to my planner. And sometimes they were reading by myself it kind of depends and so i've been trying to like have a little space also on my pages to keep doing it because sometimes giving yourself a reminder that you can actually do things is important of course this is by no means a necessity this is just me wanting to add more beauty into my daily life and into my planner and to have nice things to look at when I am scratching tasks or making lists. So if you like to keep it minimal and straightforward, it totally works, like <laughs> you don't have to do it. But if you like to embellish and decor and you know, especially for me where, because I like to like, keep the planner open right next to where I'm working, uh, I think that is actually a nice touch. So if you made it this far, thank you so much for watching. I am trying to reach my first thousand subscribers, so please subscribe to the channel. And if you like the video, don't forget to give it a like and see you in the next one. Bye!